Okay, assalamualaikum everyone. Okay, today we are going to learn how um, facts about writing a diary. Okay, so first of all, okay, what is a diary? What is a diary? Diary is a daily record of our activities or main events. Okay, apa itu diary? Diary ialah record harian. Hari-hari kita akan record harian segala aktiviti kita ataupun peristiwa-peristiwa yang penting lah. Okay, diary ni kita tulis dalam bentuk personal writing. We write it in personal writing ataupun penulisan yang secara casual, penulisan yang secara peribadi. Okay. Bila kita tulis diary When we write diary We write diary at the end of the day Selepas setiap hari itu berakhir Contohnya sebelum tidur Before we sleep Alright Then how we write the diary First of all We need to write the date Or day Or Time. Example, awak tulis uh, 23 hari bulan 8, 2021, 23 Ogos And then, ahad And then, pukul berapa Example, alright It's either one or you can write all semua Awak boleh tulis salah satu Ataupun awak nak tulis semua sekali pun boleh Okay, use I Jangan tulis Haa uh, dan apa he is writing about orang lain pula tak use i sebab diary ini adalah aktiviti yang berkenaan dengan kita okey use i first person and then use past tense past tense means perkara yang telah berlaku chronological order maksudnya apa mengikut susunan kronologi Contohlah, awak bangun pagi, awak pergi sekolah Kemudian, uh, di sekolah, awak berjumpa kawan baru, for example So, you start the diary by writing Today, I'm so happy to go to school Because I met a new friend uh, Bukannya awak cakap, hari ini saya berjumpa kawan uh, Kawan uh, Sebab itu, saya gembira pergi ke sekolah So, it's Mesti ikut kronologi yang mana berlaku dulu ha, Kalau berlakunya jumpa kawan dulu Bolehlah jumpa kawan dulu Kemudian apa yang berlaku ha, ha, Saya kena marah dengan mak So tulis dulu jumpa kawan pagi-pagi Kena marah dengan mak tu petang ha, So ikut kronologi Ikut susunan dia Yang mana berlaku dulu Personal emotions or feelings Means Perasaan awak Perasaan awak sedih, gembira Awak kena tulis dalam diary Okay Alright uh, Why we write a diary Kenapa kita tulis diary As a therapy Relief stress Kenapa kita cakap as a therapy Sebab Orang yang menulis diary ni Biasanya dia tak suka berkongsi dengan kawan-kawan dia tentang aktiviti-aktiviti dia. There are some people that like privacy on themselves. So, kita tak semua perkara kita boleh cerita dengan kawan. Tak semua perkara kita boleh cerita dengan keluarga. So, kita jadikan dia terapi untuk meluahkan perasaan kita uh, as a terapi. Improve writing skills Okay Sesiapa so, yang uh, menulis diary ni Telah terbukti ya uh, Kebolehan menulis dia semakin bagus Sebab apa dia biasa menulis Bila dia biasa menulis Semakin lama Struktur ayat yang digunakan pun semakin baik So improve writing skills Okay Boost your memory Apa dia boost your memory ni Means bila awak nak tulis diary sebelum tidur Awak kena ingat semula apa yang berlaku pada hari ini Okay, mula-mula apa yang berlaku Kemudian apa yang berlaku Kemudian apa yang berlaku And then, 
last sekali self reflect self reflect this is the uh, ni lah paling penting sekali self reflect ni sebab apa hari ini ok saya sangat sedih dimarahi oleh ibu saya hari ini ibu saya menyuruh saya uh, membuang sampah tapi saya tak buat for example lah uh, I'm so angry I'm so sad because my mom scold me today ok I supposed to throw out the rubbish but I didn't do it so you self reflect maksudnya you tahu kenapa you kena marah bukannya ibu you saja-saja marah uh, something like that so we go back to the what is a diary eh? daily record of our activities or main events so diary ni is not macam uh, pagi bangun pukul berapa pergi sekolah pukul berapa dekat sekolah it's not macam apa yang kita buat hari-hari yang memang rutin kita tak cerita rutin tapi kita cerita main events special events event yang lain daripada hari yang lain setiap hari mesti ada satu perkara lain yang berlaku daripada semalam sebab apa? sebab kita akan Uh, cuba memperbaiki atau cuba menjadikan hari ini lebih baik daripada semalam so we just write the main event so for example the main events for today is you didn't uh, you get school by your mom because you didn't throw out the rubbish so that is the main event events lah okay sebab apa okay bila you buat you tulis dalam diary you make a self reflect uh, kalau you tak self reflect it will be a routine maksudnya apa hari-hari lah awak kena marah dengan mak sebab tak buang sampah for example sebab apa sebab awak tak sedar pun apa yang awak buat tu salah uh, so bila kita buat sesu- uh, diary kita tulis main events sesuatu yang berlaku pada hari itu yang tak berlaku pada hari-hari sebelumnya kita do a self reflect self reflect me refleksi diri refleksi diri ni kita kita ingat balik kita kenang balik apa yang berlaku pada hari ini adalah salah kita kenapa salah kita apa salah kita apa yang kita patutnya buat kenapa kita tak buat yang sebegini kenapa kita buat ah. so that's what we call as self reflect refleksi diri so who can read this is very important eh, because I always see students bring their diary to the school okay dia bawa diary dia pergi sekolah and then dia bagi kawan dia baca uh, so it's like macam ah, tak apalah dia best friend saya cikgu dia memang tahu semua rahsia saya so dia bacalah segala rahsia-rahsia awak tu semua remember nobody can read it except you nobody that is your secret that is your privacy nobody you should keep your diary secretly awak kena letak diary awak di tempat yang hanya awak sahaja yang tahu because what that is your privacy itu adalah kehidupan awak yang mana awak sendiri tulis untuk memperbaiki kesilapan awak ataupun mem- men meningkatkan uh, me- improve improve your uh, attitude ok, kita setiap hari kita hendak menjadi yang lebih baik daripada semalam, so how we do it, we write a diary and then we do a self reflect, ok, setiap hari kita nak jadi lebih baik, so kita tulis diary dan kita refleksi diri berdasarkan diary itu itu tujuan diary that is the purpose of diary it's not something macam ah, kita tulislah diary nanti kita boleh kongsi dengan kawan kita no there's no such thing okay so that is what we call as diary so open your textbook okay open page 43 so let's read together okay this is sabrina diary so bila tulis diary kita kena tulis macam kita bercakap dengan seseorang tapi seseorang itu ialah diary which is uh, diary tu yang tahu setiap rahsia kita okey 
Dear diary, I'm very happy. See? Feelings. Personal emotion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dear diary, I'm very happy. Tomorrow is a very special day. See? Men's events. Okay. See me other. Personal emotions or personal feelings. Dekat sini, main events. Maksudnya, perkara yang tak berlaku hari-hari. Okay. Okay, it's 21st June, my birthday. I'm going to have a party. So, you you tell lah. You tell what is the main events about. Awak beritahu main event tu tentang apa Okay, so dia beritahu I'm going to have a party Dia akan mengadakan party Sebab today ialah birthday dia So, all my friends are going to come to my house Semua kawan saya akan datang ke rumah saya We are going to play and dance We are, we are ni maksudnya saya dan kawan-kawan saya Okay I'm going to decorate the house and mom is going to make sandwiches for us. Dad is going to make me a chocolate cake. We are going to have so much fun. I'm going to write again tomorrow. Bye for now. Sabrina. So Sabrina menceritakan perkara yang belum berlaku. Maksudnya pagi-pagi dia tulis dia diary. It's okay, it's okay. You can do that. It's either the end of the day or early of the day. Tapi kalau dia tulis end of the day, it's much better because the events already happen and you can write the details. You can reflect. Uh, so once again, we read together. Dear diary. Okay, we must start with dear diary. I'm very happy. Tomorrow is a very special day. The cerita tomorrow. Also, sebelum tidur tu dia cerita lah. It's so, pasal it's so okay. It's 21st June, my birthday. I'm going to have a party. All my friends are going to come to my house. We are going to play and dance. I'm going to decorate. What is decorate? Yes. The house and mom is going to make sandwiches for us. Dad is going to make me a chocolate cake. We are going to have so much fun. I'm going to write again tomorrow. Okay, sorry. Ni dia bukan tulis malam. Dia, tul- uh, dia bukan tulis siang. Dia tulis malam. Sebab apa? Dia berceritakan tentang tomorrow. So, maksudnya ha- esok nak buat birthday party. Hari ini dia menceritakan tentang plan dia dengan mak dan ayah dia. Apa yang dia nak buat esok. So, that is also a main event. Because what? It's not every day you discuss with your mom and father about your birthday party for tomorrow. Okay, bukan hari-hari awak berbincang dengan uh, mak dan ayah awak tentang birthday party uh, untuk keesokan harinya. So, main events doesn't mean macam birthday, doesn't mean macam um, special days. No, no, no. Main events mean something yang tak berlaku selalunya. Uh, dear diaries, today I'm so happy because uh, my sister teach me uh, about uh, badminton. So, bukan hari-hari kakak awak ajar awak tentang badminton. So, there is something yang macam main events ni bukan yang special day, celebration. No, no, no. It's something that doesn't happen every day okay so dia berceritakan tentang plan dia dia kata besok birthday dia so plannya ialah semua kawan-kawannya akan datang so we are going to play and dance i'm going to decorate dia sabrina akan menghiasi rumah maknya pula mom is going to make sandwiches ayahnya pula is going to make me a chocolate 
cake we are going to have so much fun so this means sabrina is so excited to have her party tomorrow i'm going to write again tomorrow so tomorrow sabrina akan menulis tentang apa yang berlaku semasa birthday party tu okay bye for now sabrina so let's see first of all kita mesti ada dia diary comma and then the details orang tulis diary orang tak tulis panjang-panjang okay kita tulis short nice and simple and then bye for now all right so what i want you to do today is there are two activities okay first of all you need to do the not taking okay not taking ni cikgu akan bagi my mapping ni dekat group okay salin dekat dalam english one after do the my mapping uh, you need to write about a special day main events apa-apa je special day cikgu terima okay start your diary entry with dear diary kemudian kita akan cerita tentang special day lah nak pergi mana ke uh, katakanlah uh, special day you school holiday I'm going to go to ni ataupun special day you hari raya celebration I'm going to go to visit uh, ni janganlah cerita pasal uh, covid ni cerita yang dulu-dulu lah ok sebab dia diary ok who is going to be there so ni adalah poin-poin yang awak boleh uh, guna untuk tulis diary awak dia membantu awak tapi tak semestinya awak guna ni awak boleh buat apa saja asalkan dia special day apa-apa day lah tak kisah tak semestinya birthday je banyak lagi hari-hari special uh, dalam hidup awak ok um, cikgu tak nak awak tulis diary dia dah uh, cikgu tak nak awak tulis dalam buku awak dia diary hari ini uh, saya Uh, sedih sebab uh, saya bergaduh dengan adik saya that is not a special day ok uh, you write about your special day, it's ok anything but the special day mesti ada something celebration or pergi mana-mana or apa yang berlaku semasa special day tu dalam diary awak ok so Lepas mula-mula cikgu suruh apa? Mula-mula cikgu suruh awak salin my map ni dalam English one. Awak boleh buat melintang. Okay. Kemudian buat diary sendiri berkenaan special day. Okay. Yang atas ni nak kena salin tak? Tak payah. Ha, kita buat kerja simple je hari ni. Salin my map dan juga write about a special day. Okay class? That's all for today. Thank you.